Real Life Street Stars. So quickly, so quickly we get back to the uh, Dewberry in the building, man. We got some straightening to do. Uh, yeah, real life. It's, it's, it's crazy because I said, um, man, I definitely want to bring Dewberry back in uh, towards, um, you know, towards the end of the year. Uh, but the world's attention is right on uh, Crockett, Texas. Man, I'm talking about like a mother. And uh, like man, a mother. Let's not even let's not even beat around the bush, man. Let's get right into it. On, um, uh, you know, uh, we're gonna talk to Charles, but first and foremost, um, a lot of people were saying, "Hey, Dewberry is technically acting security." Uh, an event goes down in which Charleston, of course, uh, you know, he let's just say he defends himself from a potential threat coming at him. Gets the chunk in flowers. Microphone, chairs, all kind of Mario Kart uh, sh- shells. They're throwing everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you're right there. The next person we see right next to him is Dewberry. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't even want to sit and talk about uh, what technically us or we saw or what we think is going on. I want you to explain technically what happened from your perspective. And then we could go back and forth about what should have, what could have, what would have happened if you know such and such would have happened. So, um. Take us through as far as just even having a show set up in Crockett in uh, the absence of y'all heading out there. Because I guess it wasn't a flight and it was a drive in. This is this is Texas we're talking about. Real life. Um, tell us about getting booked for the sh- Not saying booked for the show, but headed to the show and the setup of everything, the, the tension of everything. Yeah, man, you know, it was just uh, it's a regular ride, man. You know, we just ride down the, the, uh, the Crockett, man, country town, man. You know, we don't know what to expect. It's a country town, you know what I'm saying? So we finna go down here, you know, to promote a meet up with us and run it down to us. So man, we just ride me, Charles and my bro, you know, taking a road trip. This is what we do. How many, cause you've been at how many comedy shows now, would you say? Uh, down to every last one of them. Down to every last one. Probably how, missed a couple of them. How many people normally be on, like be there for these shows? Would you it say? all depends, man. It all depends, man. We got some where we'll do 300. Sometimes we'll do 400. Sometimes we'll do 100 here. Then we'll have like three, four shows. I mean, so, more so on who's riding with y'all. Like how many people be there for on y'all in, on Charleston's in? Like, uh, how many people be in the building? Majority of the time, it just be me and Charleston. Oh, man. Majority of the time, it be Damn. me and Charleston. Okay, okay. In the beginning, when we first started the roller coaster ride, we used to have security. You know what I'm saying? But lately, you know, we ain't been having no security and things like that. The love's been there. You know, we just we just riding out. But for one, I want a nigga to understand something is this here. I'm not a security. I'm not a security. You ain't been trained in uh, uh, the security ways. <laughs> my partner is Charleston White. Everything I do for my partner. It's out of love. This is my partner. My partner, the one that got the attention of the world, all in the name of conversation, that switched over to being a comedian. In the process of that, me and my partner got a, a game-related podcast that we do together. All right? Now, my partner, is when my partner make moves or whatever, my partner is going to make sure, say, dude, listen, I'm going to go, we going to, that's what my partner do. All right? Now, my partner done created this big old name for himself, all right? Yeah. As well as, while he making that big name for himself, he also creating a big name for who? His partner, all right? We don't play the big eye, small you game. Nigga, we together. Yeah. Point blank period. So that's that's how we rock out. We gonna rock out like that, all right? So now, in the process of us going to Crockett, man, we just going down on the road ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just gonna go down here, see what it's like, do what it do, we don't know, we don't know what to expect. And for those that don't know, Crockett is like halfway between Houston and Dallas, Fort Worth. It's like right in the middle somewhere there, you know, the middle of Texas. Where all the goddamn prison systems at. There you go. Huntsville, all that, all that right there in that vicinity. So we don't really know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? So we just going down here, but when we get there, that motherfucker packed. That bitch packed. It's packed with grown people. So that gives you 
Like, okay, yeah, we like that. Yeah, grown people out there. So that's how we, that's how we, you know, everything going. Yeah. How, how early do y'all get to the venue? Like before showtime? Probably, man, we probably got, I say about 20, 10 minutes before showtime. Okay, so that's right. Y'all right on time. Do, do you- well, we, we got there about 10 minutes before they start, you know, the first acts and all that. Okay. Do you uh do you assess the crowd? Do you assess the uh do you do your assessment? Like, let me just see what's going on. Yeah. See what I do is like we when we get in, we'll go in there with the crowd look like, um, and it cool. We had Kryptonite. Kryptonite had came. Shout out Kryptonite, yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, he alumni like on the couch. So when he came, he came in and said, Hey man, how the crowd looking? He let us know how the crowd looking, you know. I'm like, okay, that's a bit. So we'll look, come out there and look at it. Okay, yeah. Hey, good crowd, bro. Good crowd. Crowd deep. It's like 700 motherfuckers in here. That bitch deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Congrats on that. now understand that, but we also in the spot where they don't shake down. They don't patch you down. They don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? So we in, we in that kind of, we, we in that kind of circle. Yeah, God damn. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of wild, but okay. Yeah. But so, you know, when we look at the whole venue, we just going in, like I said, we going in, Get the back in, got the back in, take care of our business, and let's get up out of here. Point blank period. That's what it's all about. Taking care of this business, getting up out of here, and let's make it back home to the family. You see what I'm saying? So, go ahead. Do you assess the front row or the first couple of rows? Because that's technically, you're going to have your hecklers in the back sometimes, but really the front row is who you're going to see in the light, you know, uh, or at least the first couple of rows. Do you assess you, who? Yeah, I look at it. We, you know, we all look at it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, everybody dressed up, man. Everybody was dressed up nice. People looking good out there, man. They they came to, they looking good, man. So you don't get no negative vibes. Yeah. There's no negative vibes going on. Zero. It shouldn't be at a comedy show anyway. But it's no, it's no negative vibes. Like zero. There is not one. Negative vibes as I watch this this whole thing. It is uh is are they serving drinks? Is alcohol involved? I think yeah, they got alcohol. Okay, so yeah, all right, it's open. All right, they yeah. drinks are drinks are there. Everything. And you normally be backstage during the sets, right? Or you do be on the majority of the time. I might come out get a couple of footage. You know what I'm saying? So he can be able to have. I get a couple of footage, then I just go to the back, chill. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I really do it. You know. But first, like I said, it's a cool crowd. So it ain't no crowd where you got to be on your toes, man. Nah, man, we laxing. So like I said, I'm sitting back, you know, sitting back there chilling. He on his set doing his thing. I'm just in the back, cooling. I'm with Do in the back. Yeah, Me and Do back there chilling. You know what I'm saying? We just back there chilling. There ain't no, you know, everything good. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we, that's, you know, other than that, that's how we were rocking. But when we get a chance to go, now, in the process of the show going on, you got you had some motherfuckers in there talking about mob ties, mob ties, mob ties. So right then and there, okay, we got a clown in the room. Oh, shit. We got a clown in the room. You see what I'm saying? But when you got a clown in the room, that, that clown supposed to got removed from the room. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, not facts. So now remember, once the clown don't get removed from the room, what it does is it starts a change of reaction. You see what I'm saying? That's what that is facts. So now it became more of a personal. Now Charleston is speaking to him more on a personal. They they going back and forth in his personal. But the show steady going on. Mm. You get what I'm saying? How long was it going back and forth for what you said? Uh man, I don't know. They probably were going back and forth for a little minute. That's a long time. Even, for, it going even outside for, of a minute is a long time. <laughs> yeah, just a little minute, you know, then he went to scoring on him, you know. But it wasn't nothing major. He was old, it wasn't nothing major. Yeah. He just talking. So, you know, here it is. I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting down in the room, kicking. But the man came in, the dude that's promoting it. He said, how much long Charles and got? I said, I don't know. I don't know if he got 10, 15 minutes. What he said. Uh, we got to hear you up and leave because we already late on the venue. You know what I'm saying? The venue, right? So I said, all right, bitch. I said, I'm going to go tell him he got five minutes real quick. 
But when I come out, as soon as I come out, I look. When I look, I see this nigga Charleston got a motherfucking thing. The, he got the flowers in his hand. Oh, he already got the flowers in his hand when you... When I come you going, out... Yeah, you going to deliver some news. So I see he got the flowers in his hand, but then I'm, I'm hearing him while he's talking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now, here I come. Now, one thing about it is, when I come, I, you know, I grab his arm and say, chill. You know, chill, bro. But I'm jump off the stage, which they security is supposed to be doing. And what was their security if there was any? It ain't no security. God damn. Ain't no security. Damn. So, yeah, shit, you do. You, you actually having to step in for your pot. So, I'm jumping off the stage. Now, where to, I right there. Yeah, why are you jumping off stage? I'm um, going to de escalate this situation. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because one thing about it is, when you ever, if you ever been in war, if you ever been putting in work, and if you ever been in rise and you know what this shit like, nigga, you gotta understand that you gotta look at numbers. You gotta know this numbers game. See, people can look and see one thing, but nigga, I see a different thing. Nigga, I see numbers. See, when, I, when, when a nigga say, man, when that nigga, when that nigga hit, when, he, when Charles hit that nigga in the head, bro, you should have went ahead and grabbed him. You should have did this, you should have did that. All right? Yeah. That's from a visual standpoint. That's not from a realistic standpoint. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And I, and I, and I want to stay realistic because right then, I think there was a cameraman on stage. Was that Charles' cameraman? Uh, I think that was the cameraman that they had. Okay, so he's on stage next to Charles, and so, and then you come up next to him. <clears throat> Uh, the young man who is getting to a Charleston, I think he had a Kobe Bryant jersey on. Yeah. Um, from your standpoint, do you see who all he's with? Do you see? You don't see that. So okay, okay, okay. See, the only thing I seen he was with was a, a faggot lady. Mm. He would call some little. I, I, heard, yeah, I think I heard somebody uh, pull me up. Pull me. Up. It was some little fat bra right here that was with him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I dumb down, it's just the fat bra, and it's him. That's all I visual. That's all I see right here. Yeah. All right? So when I when now, as soon as I step down, he pushed the fat girl out the way. Like. Yeah, like I'm coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my way. So he like, nigga, what, what? And push the fat girl out the way. Boom. And when you, is, do you see that in your peripheral that Charleston throws something? Like, is it just. You just see the effect. I'm looking at it. Yeah. Oh, shit. When I jump down, I look, and when I hear, boom, nigga, I'm really in shock. <laughs> now you got to think quickly. I'm really in shock because I didn't think that he was finna throw this. I didn't think he was finna hit this. I didn't think that he was finna go this way. So I'm looking, I'm like, damn. Now, when I look, nigga, you got to realize this bitch is packed. Everybody done jumped up. Oh, shit. shit. All right? Shit. Okay, yeah. So when you hear a nigga say, man, you should have grabbed and you should have this, nigga, first of all, you got to understand something. Nigga, you don't even know what the play is. Facts. Nigga, I'm, by the, I'm down there by myself. There's nobody down here with me. Biggest fact. I came down here, you know, to de-escalate de this situation. I ain't come down here to be... Uh, the tough nigga, the gangster, to prove to these niggas on camera, oh man, Dewberry hit that nigga, that ain't what I do because I know how to de-escalate. There you go. You see what I'm saying? So when that when I see everybody done rose up and everybody, now nigga, I'm thinking, so I see this nigga trying to, man, let me get my ass on this stage. Boom. So here it is, I'm getting on stage. I'm getting on stage. The nigga that's running the, the venue. The nigga that booked us, yeah. he on stage. Soon as I get on stage. Where did he come from? Was he already in back? Or? I mean, I don't know. I yeah. think cause he must have been right there because soon as I got, when I got up, I pulled my goddamn, I'm pulling my pants up, but I'm still observing because I'm watching this side of people coming up. People coming up from this side. Then I'm visualizing this dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll go, go, this go. one dude, the, the, the Kobe Bryant nigga. Yeah. So now, when I when I come, I see that the nigga who run a venue, 
grab the Kobe Bryant nigga. So now I'm, cause now I'm, I'm that's, that's what I'm focusing on. The nigga come by me. But when he coming, you, can, you, you don't know if he coming towards me or what. Yeah. All right? Because you gotta realize, nigga, this Charleston and this Dewberry. You get what I'm saying? Facts. So, in, in the corner of my eyes, when I look, nigga coming. But he right there. The nigga literally right here. And he boom. And he grabbed Charleston. Mm. That's all he did. He grabbed him. Yeah. When he grabbed him, went to the ground. Went over there. Bam, bam. He rolled on the ground. If y'all see that, it's a nigga with a white on him. Yeah, we saw. Got the nigga in the headlock. This nigga out. This nigga out the way. Which I, nigga? Which nigga? Uh, the nigga that that did, the, the nigga that did the running. Yeah, tackle. the attack, tackling nigga. Whoop! He out the way. Mm. Say, man, dude, let's go. Now I'm telling my people in the back, man, let's go, niggas, let's go. But do already done came out. Okay. See my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They already, already done made they move. Yeah. So now when the move being made. Charleston, that, as soon as that happened right there, he out the way. Nigga, the, uh, the police done came and grabbed Charleston. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When he grabbed Charleston, it's like. Grab him to, to protect him or grab to him to him. restrain him? Like to, it really was like a restraint to me at okay. first. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when he grabbed him, he was like, man, we ain't going to have that right here. <laughs> so now, now his people is here. Like, nigga, like, the people that's over the venue. Yeah. They got, now, Charleston, like, there's nothing. Nigga done came, done got loose, which a nigga didn't know he done got loose and tried to come around and, and swing over a nigga back and try to hit Charleston. Ooh. That when dude, dude came out, dude got the nigga by his jersey mm. and pull the nigga out, pull the nigga out. Dude didn't even drop the bomb. Dude didn't drop the bomb because... Nigga, we know, we know, we know how this shit work. Yeah. Man, we drop bombs, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, me and my bro could go anywhere and we down, you put five niggas, we gonna run through that shit. Mm. So we know, we, we, see, this ain't no shit that we done did that we talk about. This is shit that we really done did. A whole lot of niggas done bumped their heads playing them games. Yeah. But this is not no time to get Go to jail. This ain't no time for that right now. Right now is the time. Is Charleston secure? Yeah. Get him to the back. All right. Dude done got the nigga, but dude don't walk this, these niggas, these niggas ain't ready. Yeah. Dude walk this nigga all, all the way to the motherfucking parking lot on the side of him. Oh, God damn. Cause he don't know. Like, Come on, man. Like I just said, it could have got ugly, but we gonna thank God. But like at the end of the day, so at the, like, like, like I tell a motherfucker, homie, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. That's facts. You don't do nothing for other people. You don't do that, you do something because you understand. Like I'm gonna I'm I'm speak on this, right? D, DJ Academic spoke, right? Yeah, he spoke. And he was like, you know, I fuck with do and all that, which, okay, cool. You have no knowledge of me, homie. You don't know nothing about me, my nigga. All right? But I'm gonna say this, though. When you made a statement about being right here, that's what you should have grabbed. I'm gonna say it again. If you grab right there, and you don't got nobody right there with you, my nigga, and everybody in that crowd is, nigga, guess what? They can be with him. That's gonna make you have a headache probably for the rest of your motherfucking life. Yeah, academic said you should have crashed out. Meaning, once Charleston throws the pot, you didn't start attacking. Yeah. Which it, I don't know how that shit would have played. You know out. why they work out? <laughs> they look at they, they look at too many rap niggas that sit around with 15 niggas, 20 niggas in the motherfucking what's name, and when something happens, they see 20 niggas fighting. Now, nah, nigga, I gotta think. I'm the only nigga that's down there. Nigga, I gotta think. Nigga, I gotta use this motherfucker here because I know 
Nigga, you could grab one person. I always remember this here. Yeah. Nigga, they got knives. Nigga, nice. nigga, y'all, nigga, y'all ain't never went to war when these niggas getting in these clubs with ice picks. Come on now. Niggas ain't seen that kind of shit. Females that got, come on, homie. I, I know this shit. Nigga. And like you I said, know this shit. Niggas, so, nigga, if I grab and do all this shit these niggas talking about, and now here it is. Ain't nobody down there to protect me. Right, like because you said, guess what? Everybody trying to protect who? Uh, family, yeah. Charles. Charles. So, on. if I'm down there holding a the nigga, <laughs> And now they done hit me across my head and stuck me in every goddamn thing. Yeah. You you a casualty of war. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you, you out there. You gotta know how you gotta know how this shit work. So let me ask you, um, so let's go and let's go and break it down. Uh, you get down there, again, I see you're looking to de-escalate when you jump down there. What do you see in Kobe Bryant man's eyes? He didn't want no problem, no. Oh man. He wanted to I, I talk. I can tell you, I can tell he didn't really want to. Homie. Get up on stage and get to. I can't see him going through the whole thing of what could have happened. But then again, I'm like, I, this is right before the flower pot. Like, before that. Yeah, what do you see in his eyes as. That nigga wanted to talk. He wanted to shine. He sold his jersey. Oh, shit. He not in, he not in no mode where he don't know gangster shit. He just talking. Here come his girlfriend. Whenever a girl step in front of a nigga, that nigga gonna probably, he gonna, he gotta act tough now. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened was his girl did this and he was like, get out of the way. He, he come closer to the what's name and bam. All right. Now, right when that bam hit, right when that bam hit, yeah. here I come. I hit him. They say I would hit him. <laughs> Robbed him, kicked him. Now he fucked off. The whole world would have been talking about. Man, them niggas need some assault charges. Man, them niggas need to do. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. homie. Y'all been the aggressors the Come whole on, way homie. through. All the way through. See, you got to think about this shit, my nigga. Yeah. Then you got niggas that'll come up and say, Man, you should have did that, nigga. You don't know what you, you don't, nigga, you don't know what's behind you. You don't know who you face. When you go in the war, my nigga, you in the ride, you in anything, nigga, you gotta be able to look, observe, and put your back in the safe place, nigga, while you moving. Yeah, so speaking of that, I saw you, you got back on stage backwards. You hopped back up on stage backwards. Is- and when you got up there, your eyes were focused on Kobe Bryant jersey. Mom, I'm looking at that. That's the Kobe. nigga who got hit. Yeah, you like That's that. who I'm focusing that's on. That's the nigga who got hit. And it like Nick came like a raptor or some shit from the side. See, that what Nick, that right then and there is what people gotta understand. The Kobe Bryant nigga, I'm watching him. Facts. The guy that ran the venue, grabbed him. Now when he grabbed him, here come this nigga out of nowhere. Who is this nigga? Don't know. Come out of nowhere. So when he running, when he get close to me, it kind of made me, it started me because you don't know if he coming towards me or what. He, and when he ran, he grabbed him. When he grabbed him, he went down, went over there, boom, that's it. Yeah, when they went down, they went kind of behind the stage a little bit. Behind it's kind of out of view. Yeah. So from your perspective, when you got back there, was there other people back behind stage? Like, oh, shit. Like, who, like from your perspective, who was all back Cause everybody start kind of rushing to the backstage after that. This that's when the, that's when the people the promoter dudes. Okay. This when you go back and look, it's a dude in white. I don't know who this nigga is. You got to think. So I I kind of like like try to block him while this nigga here. And then once I seen that this nigga ain't no no, you know, like against us type shit. Yeah. I'm like okay. Boom, boom, the nigga rolled over. The nigga with the cowboy boot grabbed the nigga by the throat. Yeah, who was the nigga with the cowboy hat? I don't know the nigga. Yeah, the nigga, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Shit, him. man, nigga came like the Long Ranger. But I don't know him. Okay. He, he grabbed the nigga, boom, choked him. He in the chokehold. At that time, right there, Charleston is, he good. Ain't nobody hitting him, ain't nobody, nothing. Now they done grabbed him. 
So when but Charles money fell. Yeah, right. Charles was showing money. I got so money. So money nigga. had fell somewhere. He said. So when Charles got damn, he get up. Where's my money? Where's my motherfucking money at? Yeah. But they got him. <coughs> this other nigga that doesn't end up getting loose is nothing. Let's get him out the way. He out the way. Get him out the way. Let's go to the back, my nigga. Let's get this. Let's go. Mm. Cause we don't know how this shit gonna turn out, my nigga. That's how you move. Yeah. See, niggas can talk that, uh, man, you gotta be a gorilla. You gotta go, when that happen, you go to punching on niggas. Homie, you, nah, 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 nigga, you gotta know how to move. You know, uh, this is what I really hate about this shit, because really, and this is how I was raised, nigga, when it start going down, you just start hitting niggas that ain't come with you. <laughs> you don't, you don't exactly. look. <laughs> No, real life. <laughs> no, no, real life. No, real. And what he's know, saying is real. And you know, I've been the aggressor, and you can ask Rook in so many situations. I don't, you know, in situations that crash could definitely been. Tell about the time friends and Oh, crash out, crash out, nigga, right here. I have a, a, I have a homeboy. I'm definitely the crash out. I have a homeboy, uh, who um, his baby mother, him and his baby mother was getting just arguing. It was me and Rook, and uh. He uh he kicks a dent in the his mother the child of his mother's car. She's like, oh no, nah, I got something for you, nigga. She skirts off. We still sitting there talking whoop de boop. She this boy did, did she pull back up about ten niggas. Ten niggas. Ten deep. <laughs> ten deep. <laughs> so, and then Rook say, like, oh nah, hold on, homie. So he walks over to the nigga side, like, say, bro, you finna get in this with this this nigga and his baby mama? Oh, uh, no, nah, we didn't, you know. Yeah, th- yeah, this is a family affair. <laughs> you know, Rook no, is a... <laughs> no, no, but then nigga Dion took off his shirt. Oh, he said, oh, no, no. I, so I just... I, I, bro, I put my shirt off like, nigga, we finna get, said, we, we finna get yeah, jumped out here. And yeah, yeah, said, yeah. No, sir. <laughs> but Rook has always been able to but de-escalate. de-escalate. Okay. And as, you know, and as I grew older, because, you know, I was always like, nigga, yeah, nigga, I... And it's to the point to where, like, that fight, what, what that fight I started to do? I started one fight and uh, we was at V Live. I don't know if you remember V Live. I done yeah, just, yeah, yeah. some niggas was talking about totally walked in between some niggas. I pushed one up. Just no dumb ass shit. And it's like, the skill to assess a situation and de escalate a situation is not an easy one. Point so, blank period. Like, when did you get to that level of the shit? Uh, like, when did that start even becoming important to you? Uh, when you start looking at life, homie. You start looking at life, my nigga. When you start maturing, you start looking at leadership, nigga. Everybody want to be an OG. Everybody want to be this. Every, homie, listen, homie. Let me, one thing about me is this, you know, nigga, I fear nothing. There's no nigga in this, in this motherfucking world that I fear, homie. Nobody, because it's nine nigga in this world that I won't put in the ground, my nigga. There's nine nigga in this world that I won't put in the motherfucking ground on my life. But every day, nigga, I wake up, nigga, not to move violently, nigga, but move silently, man. I don't move to, no, nigga, I don't want to bring harm to you, but if you try to bring harm to me, I promise you, my nigga, like the old men say, somebody got to go to sleep. There's no other way around this shit, homie. So when you hear niggas talk, I just hear them talk. I know that like to put niggas to sleep for real. Would the 25 year old Dewberry acted differently in that scenario? Man, at 25, I would have been on some more shit. God damn it, yeah, yeah, shit. I been, say, homie, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nigga, you probably could have called me probably about six years ago, nigga. <laughs> six years ago, nigga. <laughs> You hear me? Yeah, with a nigga hungry. <laughs> Say, man, we don't put niggas on their back. Yeah. We got niggas right now that got place in their motherfucking face for playing. You hear me? But when you starting to realize that nigga, we moving, we got a we got a motherfucking movement going. I'm fucking nigga, I'm fucking with the hottest motherfucking nigga in the world. My nigga is a hothead, homie. My nigga will, just like he just said, me and my nigga is gonna, gonna give a fuck about nobody. Nigga, I done been inside of malls 
And a nigga might be like, damn, that nigga Charlie, woo woo, and say something to that nigga, and that nigga go off. Bitch ass nigga, and I'll be like, my nigga, chill, homie. I got, to, nigga, I, nigga, this is what nigga don't understand. I'm telling, I'm been telling my nigga to chill. When that shit happened with the shit down in Houston with the nigga screaming, uh, uh, the nips and shit. Yeah, 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 keep nip. The first thing I told him, Charleston, chill, man. Don't do that. You know, I, I, where I seen him show the most restraint at, and I was very impressed, is in that restaurant where he, we all was eating with y'all family, yeah. and the nigga Come came on, in homie. there. Cause nigga, out of nigga, I, he done, he done ate everything in that motherfucker. But nigga, we we'd had that nigga on the buffet. You hear me? Just, but but, <laughs> but but I know it take. No, I'm already knowing it. But take. homie, in this game, homie, in life, nigga, you gotta be smart. For sure. You gotta be smart in this game, homie. It's a it's a video of in there, right? And the lady said they got guns in her, mm. and you hear a clack up, clack up. Mm-hmm. You hear the clack up like niggas clacking them hoes. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, niggas don't, so, know, that, niggas don't know that kind of war so. But niggas gotta realize when niggas, Five. but when niggas talk, nigga. They ain't with me. Nigga, they with their home team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all that grabbing niggas out, now nigga, I'm about to come on, homie, now. These niggas don't move like we move, homie. And that's my partner. Man, we used to have security like we, like we had like, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man, we got, we had some security named Mike Williams. They call themselves uh, uh, Guns and Boxing. Yeah. Them niggas move military. Yeah, I seen them niggas with uh, see the homie. Them niggas move military, my nigga. Cause that's how they was supposed to move. That situation would have got escalated in five seconds. Soon as he started saying something, he would have got him by the. Them niggas move military, homie. So for you, you having to play security in that scenario, uh, going forward, cause he gonna get booked for more shows. Uh, would you suggest that you know, hey, uh, let you know. We might need to have security here. Uh, nigga, from now on, <laughs> from now on, my nigga, and it's real life. Yeah. Uh, nigga, the playing field gonna be different. Come on now. The play, my nigga, I put that on my life. The playing field gonna be different, homie. How happy were you that CW didn't have uh, Charleston didn't have um his itinerary, his his his, his utility belt of uh, like you know normally he has that doing his comedy shows. It's not that he happy. They happy. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna say that nigga, that nigga uh, Charles White acted so quick, bro. He he was yeah. That nigga that nigga might be fucked up when he hit him with that mic. That nigga yeah, it, 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 aimed and everything. But see, it could have got ugly. Yeah, it could have. You know what I'm saying? And and like I said, man. If I got hit with a mic, I mean, I won't just probably go home that night. I will be trying to exact revenge immediately, me personally. Um, however, I can get to you. Uh, yeah. That's gonna be happening. So I know this is going through y'all head, like even when y'all drive. I don't know if y'all was looking behind y'all when y'all get getting back on the road, or like it's so much could have happened. You know what I'm saying? But you're right. As in, for them, luckily, you know. I mean, we they don't even know. Like I said, while they outside talking, nigga, we got people on the side of. Them. Damn. See what I'm saying? So, when you hear people talking, homie, they just talking, cause they ain't never been in them. They ain't never been in those situations. So was police at the venue at all? Man, I don't know. Man, I'm talking about man. Soon that shit happened, I seen the goddamn that little white police came, man, and that nigga was right there. Oh, look, he's a little white. So a white cop was already there. Man, that nigga came. It was a black police too, I think. Okay. They came. So they was probably already at the venue or outside somewhere. Yeah, they was there. Okay, all right. Man. So when they came, they boom. Did anyone? That's why, well, listen, they there. We in the country. Yeah, but I say yeah. They, um, so you know they on point. Does anyone call nine one one afterwards? Like, hey, man, I don't did know. Did more I, police show up? Man, I'm, they said some more police came. Okay, but nigga, I'm on the inside. When I'm on the inside, nigga, all I'm thinking about is. Nigga, let's get about this hoe. Say, homie, 700 people in here. 
Nigga, y'all don't want 700 people to crash y'all. So what's your words to Charleston as things are getting to where y'all are? All right, everything's getting restrained. What do you say to them? What type of time are you on? Um, as far as the exit route and what do you say um, to them? Man, one thing about us, man, we, we, we always try to make sure we know where the exit door at. We try to make sure we know where everything at just for something like that. Because the first thing that our security would have done in that situation was grab him and picked him up and took him out. No ifs, ands, or buts. You see what I'm saying? I'm not a security man. I'm just, that's my partner, and I'm going to go, nigga, I'm going to ride with my partner. But I'm going to make sure that I do the right thing so I won't get him hurt or get us hurt in a situation. And this is what people got to understand. If you're not thinking, nigga, you losing. I think when I move home, I don't care about what no nothing nigga say. Like I always say this, homie, and I mean this. Nigga, I built this brand, and I'm going to be the one to take this bitch down. Do you not feel like you jumping off stage might have enticed Charleston to throw that I don't know. Part. I don't know. I don't know. I hope I hope not, man, because uh, because like I say, when I move my nigga, I move to de-escalate. I don't never, I'm I don't move to to be an aggressor. It's not my game. Uh nigga, I'm not a nigga, and I promise to God this ain't nothing friendly about me. It's just that I know how to move. I don't, I don't, I don't go into no situation to be an aggressor. I go into any situation just to do what I gotta do, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be the tough guy. I don't want to be the nigga. Say, homie, there's cameras out there. If I wanted five minutes of fame, all I could have did was hit him. Ah, oh, boom, boom. Oh, do better than hit. Come on, homie. Five minutes of fame. That shit ain't what I want, nigga. I'm here. Nigga, we got to get about this bitch, man. Let's go. And then when, it, you know, nigga come and grab him. Yeah, nigga, you going to let him. Bitch, get off of him. Boom, boom. Get your bitch ass off of him. Y'all see the nigga, nigga, my eye leaking. Nigga, come, man, them niggas ain't say, man. I ain't too many niggas gonna stand up under this thunder, my nigga. But at the end of the day, nigga, we moving as a team. Man, we don't know what's going on out here, homie. So that's what people gotta realize, because niggas ain't never been in no war. Niggas just be talking. But these the same niggas talking to us, the niggas that, when you go back and do a background check on them niggas, man, them niggas, them niggas ain't putting no work in for their homies. Them niggas done, man, come on, homie. I, these niggas ain't never, these niggas don't know what it's like. Nigga, I know what it's like to do, two, I know what it's like to do 18 years on a 28 year sentence, nigga. For doing what them niggas say, crash out. Yeah, I'm the nigga that, yeah, I know how to do, I don't want that did 18 years on a 28 sentence, a 28 year sentence, my nigga. For crashing out. Most would say if you didn't learn how to de-escalate, <laughs> then you would just be a- uh, Come on, homie. Uh, yeah, right. Like you didn't learn nothing from your experiences. Come on, homie, you gotta be smart in this game. Has that ever happened before? Like a heckler on stage with Charleston White? It doesn't happen before. Yeah, so what do you think made him click this time? Like oh, uh, it like I said, motherfucker done heckled him and said some things, but he'll score on them and, and that's that. It never came to what nigga like, bitch, that nigga, I want to problem with you. It never came to no shit like that. We was in Miss, we was in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. The whole show was on this motherfucking heckler. Damn, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like niggas, it's nothing. To be seen, to be screaming mob ties so close to Houston, that could be taking a little. Like if mob ties out and like the Jackson, nigga was trying to be the nigga that was saying it was trying to be funny, the nigga that was saying it was looking for a reaction. Mm. That what he was looking for a he reaction, my nigga. He got one, got that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, when he's saying that, that just make everybody. It, it, and then you got other people. It's called a change of reaction. Now another nigga wanna try to say something. Now I ain't gonna lie, Dubarry, you you was looking kind of fly, you know, had the jacket, you know, you you was draped down. Next time, would you pull up more like CJ off of San Andreas with just a wife beater on? 
Just uh, like be like, listen, I'm gonna just come. Like I'm gonna be a little more intimidated when I come next time. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna wear my white t-shirt. Yeah, right. Just, I'm, I'm gonna just, wear my white t-shirt, uh, my jogging pants, <laughs> and my tennis shoes. Yeah, so get that. And uh, I'm just gonna be the same way. This shit don't stop. I'm not changing my game up because of that, but I know one thing: a lot of things don't change up. You hear me? Because one thing about it, I'm always going to try to de-escalate some of them. I always, that's just me. Because I know that, nigga, it takes a lot to walk away. It takes a lot to turn down some bullshit out here, homie. It takes a lot, my nigga. That's right. And when you master that shit, my nigga, man, you're going to go a long way. You know, as of late, it's like a, a lot of been, people have been trying to get that stripe off Charleston. Mm -hmm. um, as his, one of his closest friends, how does that make you feel? Because uh, I mean, here's, and, and I, I say this, I say this with the utmost. There's not one nigga who can walk through their door and have any type of aggressive word to say to a nigga in here. Not with me, nigga, you, nigga, it better be smiles and Facts. Oh, I think it's gonna get real tense real quick. Facts. So, you know, I know that's hard to, you know, with somebody that you're close with, it's like, it's hard to watch, it's hard to stomach, like all day long, like everybody got a problem. Like, but you know what, homie? That nigga the one gave me this internet game. Yeah. Man, don't you take that shit serious? Man, don't you worry about them goddamn people talking? Man, let them niggas talk. That's money. Mm. When they talk, they money. They going that's called marketing and promoting. People don't like, nigga, I can get on the internet right now. I'll be going live in the morning. Nigga be talking about, you know, just talking good shit. Nigga, now when I get on that bitch in the morning, that bitch at two, three hundred something, four hundred because of the situation. God damn. <laughs> nigga, the world is caught up into the drama. The world ain't caught up into nothing positive, homie. Oh, yeah. Come on. We can talk about that all day. <laughs> the world is caught up into all the negativity that we bring to this bitch. Nah, for real. Let you go talk to them kids. It's oh, shit. He talking to kids. Come on, how homie. You, how you... What was your... When you seen him, how he worked Cam Newton, I feel like he worked shit out Cam. I feel like Cam was trying to prove a point. And I'm like, well, shit, since we here talking, nigga, since nobody like my delivery, let's talk about this. How did you, like, wh what would you feel like when he really broke that shit down? What was your thought? Uh, what Cam Newton did is what majority of the rap niggas do, mm -hmm. the NBA niggas do, NFL niggas do. What they do is they love the idols. They love these rappers. They want to be them. They love them, homie. So they job is they can't go against them. Yeah. They can't do that. They can't speak against none of these major people. So his job was to shame Charleston in front of the world. And so all of these people can say, say, man, Cam Newton, I sure appreciate that, man. I like how you got that nigga ass about me. Yeah. That's their mindset. He want that call from Dion. That's why he wanted Dion Sanders. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Oh, Dion Sanders, that's my hero. I'm not tripping that show, hero, because you're an NFL nigga, homie. Charles against a real but, guy about that black, that HBCU. But real life is real life. Yeah. And then when you start, this is what I didn't like about it, homie, is when you got a motherfucker like him, which is he a cool guy, because you know him and Charles are cool, but this is what I, I don't like about people, period. Say, man. If you was in the room with Beyonce, but you did do, uh, uh, yeah, it'll never uh, happen. Like these uh, kind yeah, of that, words. That's the only part. With, and again, I love Cam Newton. You know, he did a great job with the Carolina. You know, but that's the only part of the interview that I said, bro, what kind of shit? But that's how. God damn. But that in that part right there, people need to pay attention to, because what it says is, just because you're a celebrity, just because. Them people put you in a position to make money playing football, basketball, or rapping. You 
can't go get a female that's in the same position. Not knowing that it's a female that's down the street that look better than her. The only difference is she getting a check from Interscope. Yeah. yeah. This girl getting a check from Parkland Hospital. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't get it twisted, homie. Yeah. Now, it, 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 and it's all for, I love what Charleston did because a young nigga need to know like, yeah, you give me two weeks, Lock me up in a lock me up in a, in a job with a motherfucker. Yeah, I got that motherfucker. Come on, a homie. young nigga need to be able to think I could get Beyonce. Come on, homie. I'm building confidence. So for another man to talk a man's confidence, down, I'm like, nigga, I, like, nigga, as, it, so it's like, what is you saying that's more explosive than what I'm saying? Cause you not no game related nigga. You just an NBA NFL nigga that got some money or something. You niggas got money, y'all got your jib, y'all got the bad Lambos pulling up. Now, nigga, take everything away. And that's you game. Here's what really fucked me up. It's like, because we all know you niggas got a job to do, but really, bro, you just like, you got three baby mamas and six kids. Like, bro, you just like me. You just got this funny shit on. <laughs> you got these funny clothes on. Little money, little money, little money. <laughs> I mean, but what is it really, what are, you got a hundred million, I got a couple thousand, Come which on. just like me, but you, you showboating for, you, you putting on for this camera, but you know, you think like me, act like me, move like me, like, what are we doing here? Still nigga. Still nigga. <laughs> Still nigga. That's what, you know, and, and I always say this. Hollywood game. I always say this. In this world we live in. You got this nigga that got this much money, and you got this nigga that got this much money. Then you're gonna have a nigga that got this much money. Then you're gonna have a nigga that got this much money, right? That's nothing. Yeah. You got the elite, which I call the rich people, that controls this money. Yeah. We haven't built nothing, homie. We haven't built nothing millionaires or, or rappers and millionaires NFL NBA, we haven't built nothing. Why y'all think ain't all these niggas that ride around in the rap game, they have came together and built their own distribution company? Yeah, man, we talk about it all the time. Why? Because you know why? Your money ain't that long, homie. Nah. And you ain't got the connections. See, while you playing that game, instead of that, you need to be trying to get the connection so we can be able to build. We can't build nothing, homie, because everybody playing what's in your pocket. Everybody playing what's in your pocket. Everybody playing what's in your pocket, homie. Why we got to keep playing what's in your pocket? Why we got to keep playing what's in your pocket, my nigga? That's all I'm saying, my nigga. Real quick, I gotta ask you. Uh, speaking of de-escalation, um, I think I get your thoughts real quick on uh, finesse two times in his brother. That's the weakest shit in the world. Yeah, like what? Like this is you know because what you just went through with Charleston. Uh, That's the weakest. I see shit his in the brother world. got knotted up. What do you say to that when like God damn my nigga like whether you got jumped or who, however many punches came in? Uh, like, what do you say to that when you see something like that with two brothers? Uh, yeah. one thing, shout out big dude in the building. One thing about it is this here. I don't give a fuck who my homeboys are. I don't give a fuck who my business partners are. If they respect me and love me, they're gonna respect and love my brother the same way. If me and my brother having words, if me and my brother having words, nobody supposed to take sides. Nobody supposed to take sides in me and him arguing. What they need to do is separate us. But nobody should have took sides to bring home on Finesse Two Time Brother. That means that the connection and bond of family, it wasn't really there. So because I heard Finesse say something about, bro, you been a snake. You been this, you been that, right? When I heard that, that let me know that I can't, I'm going to be honest with you, you know, when I speak about this, because it's different with me, because I love my motherfucking family to death. I love my brothers. Nigga, that ain't my, I got brothers, nigga. I love my family, my, I love my brothers and my sisters. And I hate to say this, 
My nigga, I go do life behind them. Even if they start the shit, like I, mean, even- I would do life behind my family. My big brother did eight years behind my fucking with my family, my nigga. My nigga, my family is known for having shootouts with other families, my nigga. My nigga, you fuck like we grew up different, so I can't speak on everybody. We grew up different, my nigga. My sister put a me and my sister done came in the house, went out the house and put a butcher knife in another female head for fucking with my sister, my God nigga. God damn, a butcher. God damn. Homie, like, yeah. st- st- I'm talking about stuck it right in her head, my nigga, and let it go. Shit. My nigga, like, so I been, I, I, I grow up where, man, when we family, my nigga, man, we fucking family, homie. So I have to ask, in that scenario, you, you arguing with your brother, someone else comes in to de-escalate it, you take off on that person, then that person gets the best of you. It ain't gonna what do happen. you do as a brother when he was already coming at you on some upset shit? And then he fucked off and took off on another nigga. Then that nigga just got the better of him. What do you do? Uh, nigga, after the first two punches, nigga, I'm grabbing. What the oh, fuck yeah. y'all niggas doing, man? Yeah, no, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Say, bro, no, chill, man. What the fuck? No, we ain't. Because one thing about it is, when you building an organization, when you building an organization, you gotta always remember that you gotta know how to conversate with everybody, not on the little homie, not on the big homie, not on better than you. You just got to know how to conversate. Just think about what I'm saying. You really got to know how to conversate with your whole, pe- all your people, my nigga. Because what we don't want is we don't need that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I tell people, nigga be like, man, you yeah, bro, you... Homie, I'm always gonna stand on right, my nigga. Pops told me something, man, and uh, I stand on it. He said, dude, stay loyal to what's right. Stay loyal to what's right. It might go over a lot of niggas' head. Stay loyal to what's right. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people look at life and be like, yeah, nigga, I'm like, but why you being loyal to something that's wrong? And I sit around and I say, see, nigga, look at this situation with me and Charleston. Let me give y'all some game. Do you know me and Charleston have been in a lot of situations? My nigga, we done been in a lot of shit together. Nigga, I done got hit in my motherfucking face one time fucking with that nigga. Square business. But we still bone, my nigga. Say, my nigga, listen. When that nigga Meek Mills came to the MGM, oh, yeah. I looked at my nigga and I told him, I said, my nigga, the nigga putting together a play. The nigga putting together a play, my nigga. The nigga like, yeah. I said, man, hell yeah. I said, shit, we just going to chill right here. To the, you know, my Detroit people come, but I'm watching the play. I'm watching how niggas playing the game, sitting here doing that. I'm, I'm watching everything. So I tell him, I say, my nigga, these niggas putting together the play. You see, my nigga different. Get what he say? Say, do shit. We need to go and kick this bitch off right here, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing my nigga said. My nigga like, say, my nigga, we need to go and kick this bitch off right now. So at least we they won't do us too bad. That's how my nigga think. Yeah. But I'm telling my nigga, chill, now nah, we just gonna wait. These niggas, these niggas try to make a move this way, then we gonna go ahead and, I said, nah, what? Well. But that's how he think. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know how my nigga think. So my thing is, if I'm around him, nigga think you brought to protect him by squabbling. Mm-hmm. Now nah, you protect your partner by thinking. Chestnut checkers. Thank it, homie. 
You protect your partner by thinking. Nigga, I can have a bunch of young niggas around me that uh, got out there and just start fighting. Ah, da, 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 da. But that's not what's happening, homie. We got to think. We got to think in these situations. Nigga, I'm a barbarian, nigga. Nigga, I'm with the shits. Nigga, I'm a nigga that's with the shits. Nigga, I'm a nigga that wake up every day realizing that nigga, I'm cool, laid back, and collected, but I wake up every day realizing that nigga, nigga, it, it don't take nothing, but that, it take that. Nigga, I throw this shit away. You know what I'm saying? But I got to think because guess what? Man, I got a mama that I was gone from 18 years away from, homie. I still got my old man, nigga. I lost my auntie, nigga. The backbone of my family, homie. Nigga, I still got my family, my nigga. Nigga, and most importantly, guess what I got? Nigga, I got a son, homie. Nigga, I don't want my son to go down no fucked up road, my nigga. Nigga, I'm his motherfucking hero. So, nigga, I'm a thing. Nigga, I'm not here to thank for the internet, to move for the internet. Nah, nigga, I don't need nobody around me that can't think. Point blank, period. I know it's like to have young niggas around you that's gonna goddamn me flatline you. That's nothing. I done did all that before. Nah, nigga, I need thinkers around me, nigga. Come on, homie. And that's how I move. You know, it's so crazy. The ones that don't think, they ain't, don't even know they ain't ready to throw this shit away. Come on, they, homie. They, they like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you do. You didn't think about it. <laughs> you didn't think long enough, nigga. Nah, real life, my nigga. <laughs> nah. So, you know, that's why I say, man, at the end of the day, nigga, this world is a book. This world is a book. Rook, life is a book. I can open up that book that Rook got and read that book that Rook got. A thousand people can read that same exact book, but gonna get a different interpretation of Rook. Say, man, in that book, Rook said this here. Yeah, but why did he do this? This is how this life is. This internet, everything. Nigga, it's gonna be some people saying, damn, dude, you should have crashed out. It's gonna be some people saying, damn, dude, you should have did this. Damn, dude, you should have did that, but they don't understand that. Do, do what do, do. Do know how to get out of every situation and make everything right. Nigga, get what? Nigga, I know how to move. Nobody ever in life Long as I've been living 46 years and this thing gonna go viral, could say one thing, they can't never say, man, that nigga left me. Not one motherfucking nigga. Cause I'm gonna stand there when ain't nobody else gonna stand there. If I fuck with you, if I don't fuck with you, nigga, fuck you, die. I was just gonna say, you don't get to that age being stupid. That's one no, thing. Homie. Like I didn't, a lot of my niggas done passed, you know what I'm saying? And you would think like, nigga, man, can't nobody kill this nigga? Like, but now you gotta think. You gotta think. You gotta think. Uh nigga the nigga, it's a bunch of humps in the ground. And on that tombstone they say real nigga. No, straight up. It's a lot of humps on the ground, and a lot of them say tough nigga. It's a lot of humps on the ground, and they say, trying to prove some niggas. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of humps on the ground, and it says, I just want to be down, niggas. Now, nah, my, my, my tombstone ain't going to say none of that. My tomb going to gonna say one thing. I stood on what I believed in. Hey, man, you already heard it. Uh, man, it's a blessing that both you... Charleston, big dude, everybody walked out uh, unscathed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, everything in tech, you know what I'm saying? Back in, in tech. Uh, you know, I, I, we, we got we, we got big dude here. We're going to highlight him. We're going we gonna to bring real him life, back. But, real life, real life, real uh, life. Definitely, you know, 
as we as you take us out of here because this you know again we were going to bring at the end of the year but 2023 um it's been a you see, would you say been a, a great year for you uh 2023 well how would you gr- experiencing year. experiencing year uh, um it's been a it's been a it's been an up and down year okay uh I done went through relationship problems this year. God damn. You know, I, nigga, I, I believe. Through, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. The face, the face car getting better, god damn it. The face car getting nah, better. Nah, for real, man. <laughs> shit. I, I done went through relationship situations, my nigga. I bet. I done went through. I done went through just gathering all this shit together with all this goddamn internet shit going on. <laughs> then we got to move. It like so much shit. But I know, I know, I know my girl gonna see this, but I'm gonna say this, right? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about this shit, homie. Talk to, <laughs> like, talk no, to. like no disrespect, homie, but I don't give a fuck about this shit. I don't give a fuck about, nigga, I can have a hundred billion dollars because my game is this here. Nigga, I want them niggas world. Nigga, if I struggle with you, nigga, I want to win with you. There you go. That's just my game. My nah, game. there you go. There you go. Hey, well, hey, uh, we hoping for an even better 2024. Uh, we, oh, it is. Uh, we already see oh, it is. it's about to go up. Movies I, I, and everything. We excited about the Dewberry brand going up itself, man. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be along for the ride, man. Real Life Street Stars. Uh Dewberry in the building. Anthony Dewberry, man. It's a blessing, man. Hey, we got him on the couch again. You already know. You are a real life street star, man. Let's salute it. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Hey.